Hello everybody, this is Father Richard Gonzalez. This past week we have been celebrating the ninth week of Ordinary Time, and in reflection on the scripture passages from this past week's daily Masses, I think we can say that it has been a time of deep personal reflection in our journey with our Lord Jesus Christ. That through personal and life struggles, if we maintain a focus and an honesty within ourselves in the face of surrounding frustrations, that we can be blessed with the strength and the wisdom to move beyond the challenges around us through the grace of God. But before we delve deeper, and before I forget, just one more thing. If you enjoyed this YouTube video, consider giving it a thumbs up like, subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and hitting the notification bell and the all tab so you are notified of all future videos on my YouTube channel. The prayer of our friend Tobit in Wednesday's first reading is a deeply heartfelt prayer. Tobit is praying aloud from the very depths of his soul with great emotional pain. He confesses his own sins and the sins of his kin of the people of Israel. His grief is so great that he actually desires death rather than being alive. He says that it is better to die than to live in the face of so many troubles. Tobit's future daughter-in-law, Sarah, is going through her own trial of deep emotional stress and begs the Lord for death rather than facing her personal and life challenges. Perhaps some of us can identify with Tobit and with Sarah with our own personal struggles in a dark valley, walking in an overwhelming daze, feeling lonely, hopeless, and helpless. The prayers of both Tobit and Sarah show us that nothing is out of bounds in prayer. We can share our deepest moods with the Lord in prayer. And during these dark and overwhelming times in our lives, we may want but struggle in sharing these dark moments with other people. We may be embarrassed or we may not want to burden them with what we are feeling. Yet we can always open our hearts to the Lord, even if it is full of darkness just as Tobit and Sarah did. Let us not be afraid to approach the Lord with what we are experiencing and feeling. Let us not hold back, but give it all to the Lord and tell Him as it is. For what else is He going to say to us? But I am here. I love you. And let us work through this together. In Wednesday's Gospel, Jesus declares that eternal life will be greatly different in comparison to life in the here and the now. The ways of this life will be no more. So we can actually look forward towards heaven with hope, because as Jesus promises, it will be a wonderful transformation. But at the same time, we can also face the reality of the obstacles of our lives here and now with hope, even when we are in the valley of darkness. The Lord will be guiding us and equipping us along the way as our Good Shepherd. As Jesus reassured us time after time in the Gospels, do not be afraid. And in the words of St. Paul, we can do all things in Him who strengthens us. So what does it mean to acknowledge that Jesus is our Good Shepherd, our Lord? The word Lord means ruler or king. The Lord and Master of our lives is the person or thing we give our lives over to and submit to in the fullness of ways. We can be ruled by our worldly possessions, love of money, our carnal passions, alcohol, drugs, pornography, and other addictions. When we acknowledge that Jesus is our Lord, we invite Him to be the King, the ruler of our heart, master of our home, our thoughts, our relationships, and everything that we do. We are transformed from hopelessness into a person with a vitality for life. So my friends, the question is, is Jesus the true Lord of your heart? And do you trust him with free reign in every area of your life? And may God bless you today, tomorrow, and always. And I'll see you real soon.